Hi, I'm Mitch, and you're watching Flow Drill Fundamentals. In today's segment, we'll be looking at how to choose the proper flow drill bit for your specific application. We'll be breaking down the various bit styles and explain to you where they perform the best. The variety of bit choices include our standard, short, our short flat, standard long, our long flat, the rim, which is a fluted end, or specials for those non-typical applications. To begin, let's start off with our standard short and standard long style bits. With these types of bits, a raised material surface or collar is created on the top surface of the material or part. The appearance of this collar is similar to placing an O-ring on the top surface. It is a consistent, smooth ring of material when completed. For applications where there is not a need for a surface-to-surface -surface connection, these will be your bits of choice. Deciding between a short or a long is based on the wall thickness of the material. Each flow drill bit diameter has its limitations in regards to material thickness. A general rule of thumb is the maximum material thickness for a given bit size is one half of its diameter. An example of this is a quarter inch bit. We can flow drill up to an eighth inch thick material. When an application requires a flush top surface, we would then select our flat style flow drill bit. With this style, we actually grind two cutting edges onto the bit. These cutting edges remove all upflow material from the process that we formed earlier into a collar using the standard style bit. These bits are typically used on flat, square, or rectangular tubing, anywhere that there's a flat spot to flow drill. The cutting edges produce a clean, flush top surface with a very slight chamfer. Again, I'll mention to you that the switch from a short flat to a long flat is solely dependent on the wall thickness of the material, just like we discussed earlier with the standard style bits. On occasion, we come across applications that just do not allow for the usage of any of our standard geometry flow drill designs. When this is the case, we can configure a special tool to meet those application specifics. These tools can include modified links, lead angles, chamfers, etc. We will evaluate your project requirements and determine the best geometry to ensure a successful project. If you have an upcoming flow drill application, we have the proper flow drill bit to meet your requirements. Join me next time for more flow drill fundamentals. I'm Mitch. Thanks for watching.